Okay, guys, so I'm gonna review the FM Fury. Now, first, I'm not gonna review the main event. It's gonna be Hector Lombard versus Yushin Okami. Because after the review, I wanna get something off my mind. So, let's start it. Now, Yushin Okami. Versus Heck, Hector Lombard. Now this fight was basically Yushin Okami going for the takedown repeatedly. Hector Lombard getting back up, going a few shots, a few, a few power shots. And you can go in for the takedown again. This process repeats itself over and over again. In the first round, Hector landed a couple of shots. So you can decide to go for the takedown. Now what baffles my mind is that Hector Lombard, while using Okami, um, is trying to complete the takedown. He starts going straight instead of stuffing the takedown. Like, you can Bouncing on one leg is enough to stuff the takedown of Yushin Okami. He's arguably the second best grabber in the middleweight division right now behind Kill Sun. And I still consider Kill Middleweight. Until he fight at light heavyweight. But that's what baffled my mind. And he did this for the first two rounds. He started going strike when Yushin would go for the takedown, which allowed Yushin to compete the takedown. Even though Yushin didn't do anything with the takedown, that same process over and over again is gonna bring him round. Simple as like that. In the third round, Hector comes out where Shankup again, he, he kept Yushin with a couple of shots, you can decide to go for the cake out. He finally stuffed a cake out properly, and you can decide to go in the garden now. He will have to go to the cake in a bag, but he was too tired too. He couldn't take advantage of cop position. He couldn't win cock. He just stayed in his guard for the whole entire round. Next one for you, Shino Kami. Up next, I agree with Kel Sonnen that the winner of Costa for the pool and Got the that will be his next fight. Now the topic that I want, I want to talk about is if you, if a UFC cut down fake, simply because he was going downward in his career, had a big contract and lost to a, out of his last three fights. Shouldn't that apply to Hector Lombard? First of all, 
he has a big contract that he signed last year. Ever since he came into the UFC, he's been wanting to with the office to Kim Boat and Yushino Kami, and his only win was against Paharis. And he got the downside of his career, seeing as he's 35 years old, and I said he's lost two out of his last three fights. He doesn't seem to respect suffering takedowns. He only wants to strike. So why wouldn't you cut him? He's not that good a fighter. That only proves to me that Bellacor only has good strikers that don't have an overall game. It's either good strikers or good wrestlers, not both. And when they come into the UFC, they get devoured. So that's it for this review, guys. Peace.